Welcome to Devotional Daily. Today is February 11. Our title is, Who is Who? Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, let not the mighty man glory in his might, nor let the rich man glory in his riches, but let him who glories glory in this, that he understands and knows me, that I am the Lord, exercising loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these I delight, says the Lord. Jeremiah 9, 23, and 24. Over the years, I've been puzzled by the list of individuals deemed important, powerful, renowned, and envied as celebrities, included in the who's who of culture. I've always been intrigued by how external things such as fame, position, status, wealth, and glamour are used to define the echelons of power and importance. What's always struck me is how someone celebrated on one year's list can be entirely forgotten in the next, and all it takes is a single meeting of some arbitrary administrative council. The question that always bothered me was, does the power of people included on a celebrity list or considered important, even without any list, genuinely exist? Or is it just circumstantial, a place occupied by them at a particular moment? I believe that, most of the time, we massively confuse these two things. Human power and fame are attributes of time and circumstances. As these pass or change, today's celebrities vanish like the afterglow of fireworks, and nothing remains of them except, occasionally, melancholic memories. The scriptures bear witness to a formidable distance between power and authority. Caiaphas, Pilate, and Nero had power, but the authority belonged to Jesus Christ, Peter, and Paul. Do you know anyone named Caiaphas, Pilate, or Nero? Ironically, I've only seen dogs with these names, but we name our children Jesus, Peter, and Paul. The former had power due to circumstances or maneuvers for a moment, but the latter had true authority. Authority is something irresistible, inspiring, emanating from the core of who you genuinely are and from your alignment with God's will. Don't be seduced by the false to the extent of neglecting what truly matters. People with real authority don't need circumstantial power, whether from positions or status.